Kalam cosmologic argument. Whatever begins to exist has a cause, the universe begins to exist, the universe has a cause. There's many, many problems with this. Premise 1 has multiple problems. If it's based on observation of objects inside of the universe, then this is the compositional fallacy. The parts don't necessarily equal the whole. Just because the things inside of the universe behave in a certain way, it does not mean that the universe as a whole behaves in the same way. Now, this is also a universal quantification, and it breaks the rule of inference, because it is not known that it's universally true that a whatever begins to exist has a cause. At best, you could say the things that we observe have a cause, but then you're only talking about the things that we have observed inside the universe, and then you go right back to the compositional fallacy. Now, if you're saying that this is actually a group, that a whatever is a group, E, then you have to give an example of things that begin to exist that are not also the universe. If you can't produce that, you fail to provide an argument. And, you, and also, this would then be nothing more than begging the question because all you would be saying is, universe began to exist. And it, and it has a cause. Since you don't have any examples of other things that began to exist. Of course, this is also vague language. What do we mean by begins to exist? There's no example given. And of course, there's a possible counterexample in quantum physics. And this has not been debunked. The universe began to exist. Well, it's a half truth because the Big Bang doesn't really say that. And it's vague language on the word universe. What do we mean by the word universe? Here we have the universe. We have the T1 point. We don't know what happens before that or if there is a before. Are you talking about the thing that isn't the universe? Or what is this? The If this is the universe and before this there was something, what was that? What do we call that? What's the name for it? So what do we mean by universe? Infinites are still possible. It hasn't been demonstrably shown that an infinite is not impossible. So, perhaps at the... Perhaps this is all that there ever was, and then it stretches out from there that this itself is an infinite, because there's no time. Of course, it's a bald assertion. There's no citation given. And of course, then the conclusion is simply non sequitur. I think that this is a question for science to answer not logic. Here's another problem. Begins to exist has a cause. Universe begin to exist, but really, there's a hidden equivocation here. If you're talking about certain types of gods and theology, which is, you're talking about the universe beginning to exist ex neo from nothing, but the other things, you're not. They're beginning to exist for other reasons. They're beginning to exist because something else existed prior to their state of being. They didn't come into existence from a nothing, like they're trying to claim that the universe did. Although they're saying, well, the universe didn't really come out of nothing. It came out of God, and God made the nothing into the universe. If this was valid and sound, we'd have to look into the matter further. But it's not. It has the correct structure, but it's got multiple logical fallacies. And because of that, we must be skeptical of its conclusion.
The Kalam cosmological argument sucks. Bloop.